Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, Commissioners. This is the public hearing of February 17th, 2015. Chair Srinivasan. Here. Sorry. Commissioner Shamir Barron. Here. Commissioner Bland. Here. Commissioner Chapin. Here. Commissioner Devonshire. Commissioner Goldblum. Commissioner Gustafson. Here. Commissioner Moore. Commissioner Washington. Here. We're going to start up with item number two, an application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Brooklyn, um, 178 Court Street <clears throat> in the Cobble Hill Historic District, docket number 16 3310, block 297, lot 31. And this is a vacant lot, and the application is to construct a, a new building. Commissioners, good morning, Jerry Johnson, Preservation Staff. So, this is an application for a new building in the Cobble Hill Historic District located on the corner of Congress and Court Street. Chair Paulson, the architect, will take you through the presentation. You said you were doing boards. Oh. The presenters probably just don't care. The presenters probably just don't care for staff now. So, okay, wait. Took them time. Always set up, Sheriff Paulson. Yes, we architects representing the owners of 178 Court Street at the corner of Congress in Cobble Hill. Robert Bianco from my office, a project architect.
church, which is brownstone across the street, the lot that we're proposing the new building for, and the adjacent row houses, which all have commercial bases which have not entirely a 100% degree of historic infill, but were converted years ago to be primarily glass and signed it. And what we're proposing is the two-story with red brick, sign bands, and a three over wide retail base divided up into two segments in terms of its um, delineation. This block is interesting because the two corner lots of the opposite side are wider lots, and then all the center lots are 20-foot wide lots. And so to maintain that pattern, we're proposing to use the same rhythm in this facade. This is the entire block front at Congress to the next street, existing. looking at the site um, with the new building adjacent to the special building next door 
and again looking toward the church with the new building in the foreground. Okay, I have just a couple of questions. Okay, so um, you know, I I understand your uh, design intent along Congress, which is to sort of break down the scale and uh, connect to the mid blocks. Um, but having lived in Cobble Hill and a long time ago, and uh, walking on Court Streets, I mean, one thing about Court Street, as you sh sh you know showed us in your elevations, is. In fact, they were residential buildings, and they have ground floor retail. And so in some ways, that residential character that you've talked about in Congress actually also exists on, on Court Street, particularly above the second floor. So I guess my question is, did you think about whether that design approach that you've used on Congress should also be used on court. So that's one question. And the second question is, has to do with where you place your signage. And I understand that's um, maybe a placeholder. But given that Court Street does have ground floor retail and probably a signage pattern over there, and have you thought about how to extend that? Or does, how does it integrate with that? I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Um, on the signage question, and Interestingly, um, historically, the adjacent, and the sign is not existing anymore, but the building immediately adjacent had a very large, once, once the site was a parking lot, had a very large arrow for park here now <laughs> kind of delineation. Not to say that's from the period that this district is designated for, but over time there were a variety of locations for signing. Um, but more importantly, within the context of the overall neighborhood, we did look at this block and we thought that it was important to maintain the bigger expanses of glass at the ground floor to break this up into the tripartite organization, but also use this corner location as an opportunity to relate to the scale of the church across yeah. the street. So it is, in our minds, a transitional site, both on Congress and on board. We don't have the traditional row houses on Congress immediately adjacent. We have a larger scale house with a three-part um, facade. And then on the we have this row of loving houses, sorry, um, the row of former houses and now retail, but we also have the church across the street, and that does tell us that there is an opportunity here to use this There's site, which is a trans site, as a transition. Use site. this more as a transition. I, oh, you go ahead. Uh, yes, Fred. And, and I know we have a lot of Brooklyn people. Yes. <laughs> well, I've never lived there, but <laughs> for 42 years I've lived pretty close by. Um, so I have a, a similar kind of question, I guess. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's about the context and relating and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> the height of the building is um, almost what a three-story, a typical three-story building is, but yet it's a two-story building. And I've, I've, I've heard you, and I'm particularly relating uh, to the building on Congress Street, the anomaly, really. <clears throat> But it's there, and it's a, something to relate to. But something about having a two-story building that this, the size of three or even almost four-story buildings uh, within on both uh, sides of this block means that your building is is somehow strangely proportioned and scaled, mm -hmm. oddly, I think, to me at least. And <clears throat> and the windows, particularly on the second floor, and I'm I'm, I'm sure you you're leaving FAR aren't you? Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. You are. And, and usually, uh, you know, you're living, there, there are two or three floors of, of apartments, which are astronomically expensive these days. So I don't, I'm try, trying to understand the developer's mode, but again, not our problem. But it would seem to me that maybe two smaller floors with smaller windows. I mean, your windows on the second floor are about double the square footage of a typical window uh, on both blocks that you're relating to. So those are just comments, really not so much a question, just a comment. But I wondered how you rationalize those things. Um, it's a very good question. The site is zoned residential with a commercial overlook district. And under the commercial zoning, you're only allowed to go up to 30 feet with a two FAR coverage for the lot. Felt that this was a more logical opportunity for a 
of commercial <coughs> development, especially in the context of the commercial um, improvements, the retail improvements specifically that are happening along the street. As I said, the site is a very small site, 50 by 55. It does not lend itself to a ground floor retail and residential floors up above. The retail would not have the sort of height that a, a typical retailer would be looking for along with the residential floor to floor heights that would be desirable. Um, plus you would have multiple stairs and elevators and other things and have very little left over. And the retail tenants that are looking at this, and again, in the context of the larger church building across the street, we felt that the massing was clearly in scale with the rest of it. The second floor windows, we began by first breaking it up into the three, and then starting to delineate some mullions on the second floor to begin to break it up. And as we turn the corner, we introduced these other panels to begin to relate first to the sizes of the openings and windows <coughs> on the mansion house immediately um, it's a, it's an interesting site because it is a corner lot it was never a building with houses or retail or any kind of building it was it has been a parking lot for a very long time and we felt that even though it is a different scale it is a scale that is appropriate by the way that it relates to the church across the street and the house okay. so it's just house. retail that's it all right, you, other you, questions? Do you, have yes, any, John. do you have any examples of um, other corner commercial buildings nearby? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was... They're interesting. This is directly across. Which, which page is that on? This is H002. And this is outside the historic district, across the street. But it's the the type of commercial building in the area. Yeah. Then this one at Court and Pacific, which is within the district, is a three-story commercial building and is the lighter toned stucco. Um, the Harris Court Theater on Court Street is again one, two, three stories with a pedimented sort of um, parapet. And then, of course, the Brooklyn Savings Bank at Court in Atlantic, which is a very grand um, building, has a more rusticated appearance yeah. and is primarily one story. So if we were to just look at these, we would have brought forward something in a lighter color, which we felt was jumping a little too far. Um, but that the opening scale that we're proposing is in line with these, which are not adjacent directly, but are within. All right, other questions? Okay, what yes. The, what was the point of the, um, the panels, and why are the panels up on, one, on uh, one floor and down on the other? What is, and are they different materials? They are different colors. They are, are they different, different What are, what are the, panels, the point of The panels on the bottom are in the darker colored stone, and the panels that are within windows themselves are the metal. And this is actually never felt, and I'm sorry we didn't bring that sketch, but it never felt like it was landing in a good spot to make it relate to anything, so we took it out. But we did explore it. Just one last question. What's on top? So the, the bulkhead that we're looking at? The bulkhead is... It's on that side, right? Yes. The bulkhead is um, housing the stair bulkhead, which is now 
required by code and the elevator um, override. And on, on the other elevation, it's, it's, it goes across the whole? It goes across. And it's because it's most visible from the um, intersection kitty corner, we've pushed the whole bulkhead back as far as possible. So it's against the um, lot line wall. Right, but just to, on that issue, it's against the lot line wall, but it's not against the lot line wall along, um, what was that? The, 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 yeah. Right, right. Is that because it's just you have to have egress and allow you to sort of connect outwards? Because you could shift the whole bulkhead further back to the corner. Oh. To this corner. Yeah. Rob, can you explain why it's not just the corner? Adjacent foundations is the, is the short. Okay, so adjacent foundations, meaning that it would require deeper foundations at that corner adjacent to the buildings? If, if you pushed it because, of, the, because the core is taking the weight. Okay. Uh, could you have sloped it, the it, stair part? Uh, yes, we could slope that. Okay. Uh, uh, other questions? Yes, uh, Adi. Um, the roof has to be at 30, but the parapet could get taller? Unlike the um, Empire State Development Corporation requirements, this is under New York City zoning, so the height limit is the, is the roof and the parapet is allowed to exceed. So it can exceed, my question is, can it get taller still than what no. you've got? No. Which is, so it, that means I that mean, that... If, if it did and it became too high, then the roof would count as floor area under the zoning. But what is that number? You've got it at three and a half, about three and a half feet yeah. above the roof. So what, how, how much taller could it get, the parapet? Isn't it three feet six or something? No, no. To count as floor area, I think it has to be five or six. It, for it to not count as floor area? For it to not count as floor area. It has to be less than that. What? Five feet across. Four, 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 four feet six or something. Four. 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 It is. This, this was what we went through on the puck building. Right. And I think we've seen some cases over here as well. Um, are there any other questions for now? We can take testimony. Barbara Zay. Good morning, Commissioners. Barbara Zay of the Historic Districts Council. HDC commends this design for its overall sensitivity of scale and materials. We do ask, though, that since the storefront will be considerably taller than those of its Court Street neighbors, the signage be incorporated into the glass transom rather than on an additional sign band above. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more speakers? All right, uh, no more speakers. Uh, Ms. Paulson, you want to come back up here? Okay, so, um, uh, yes. Yes. We, we did um, see the Historic District Council's comments on their emails that they forward, and we did consult with our clients regarding the shift of the location of the signage, and they said they would vastly prefer, based on their marketing studies, um, that the signage remain in the location. All right. I, I think, um, you know, when I was asking you about the signage and how it relates, uh, I was sort of getting at the same issue, which is if you put it lower, it actually connects. And I can understand that you want to have your retail floor taller than what was there for the others because they were sort of incorporated. Um, but I know that's the preference, but I feel it's almost, I, I don't know, it feels like it would be able to address uh, your client's concerns of visibility, but actually feel more integrated into, um, into the storefront. So you may want to think about that. Okay, and the other thing, just going back to I think a comment that Roberta made and I made, and I think it has relates to what Fred was saying as well, is just sort of somehow breaking down the scale even along Court Street. Uh, it is at a very uh, actually, it's it's it has a lot of visibility because it's at the intersection, right? And I think that. One could argue that that's a sort of a pivotal location, as you noted, that it sort of transitions to uh, an institutional building to the south. Uh, but it also seems that one could address it very similar to the way you've addressed it on Congress, and it may just, you know, the fact that you've broken down, yes, something like that, you could do 
at least on the second floor, or I don't know, just a suggestion to try and break, break down the scale. Okay, all right. Yes. Uh, comments? Yes, please. Yeah, uh, I, I feel uh, kind of uncomfortable with the approach. I think that um, the materials and colors seem very appropriate, but they're appropriate to the residential district. And it's a corner building, so I think you can do a lot with it. I don't have any problem with the commercial building. Um, and I feel like if we're going to try to fit into the residential since that you'd have to go further. It's like you need a cornice, you need some detailing, the windows on the top are too large. On the other hand, if you came in with a really commercial approach, so to speak, and the community board might have been much less happy with that, or the local association, but uh, I think that um, you, you could go, you know, you could go to a, a more commercial look. And that's a question, I guess, for the district. It's, it's near the edge, though, and it's, uh, it is a corner building. But in other words, some of the examples that were really more commercial. Um, so I kind of feel it's, going, it's, it's neither one nor the other. If, it were, if it's to fit in with the residential, I feel like the windows on the top are really too large, and it's too plain and almost commercial, industrial in character, I just feel it's not fitting in well in the vocabulary that it's chosen, whereas I don't have any problem with the lower floor. But I could, I, could, I think, look at something that was much more just a, a, a commercial approach that was the whole building was that. So that's what's troubling me. It's kind of not going completely one way or the other. Yeah. I, I think that yeah. um, I, I agree with that comment. There's a, um, it, it's, I'm looking at um, H002 and H003. It seems like the proposal is neither fish nor fowl. You know, it's not um, a dramatically different commercial building anchoring the corner. Um, but on the other hand, um, it kind of starts to mimic what happens in, at court in Amity, which is right on the other end of the block. But it doesn't quite go far enough. I mean, not that it has to be identical to that, but if you're going to go with the, 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 that red brick look, it needs more, it needs a cornice of some sort, and, and the windows seem to be disproportionate. Now, and that said, if you wanted to go you know, completely different, I wouldn't see a problem with that either, but it, it seems like it's caught in between. Right, and it seems like that the... Uh, the really right. Our first presentation to our client was... was Right. Design with a lighter color facade. Right. The openings have not changed dramatically mm -hmm. to um, reduce the size of blazing. Right. But I think your design philosophy and, and the choice of materials was, in fact, to make it more contextual to some kind of residential uh, ground floor retail. And so uh, yeah, you could go in a completely diff different direction. Not completely, a different direction, but you've chosen this direction, and within this direction, it seems that there are other things you could do to take it, then to really embrace it fully. Um, other comments? Okay. I, I sort of support <clears throat> what um, these two commissioners have, have said. It's neither fish nor fowl, and I'm, I'm just sort of generally uncomfortable, I think, a word that I want to use. It's, it's not that it's bad, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't seem quite appropriate yet. <laughs> and I guess that's what we have to find. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's neither fish nor fowl. Without trying to give you specific comments that you could take back and do that, and then we check the box. I think this is an opportunity because of the corner um, to make an interesting and, and contemporary building. Yes, Roberta. I'm Yeah. Uh, other comments? I, I agree that the, the greatest 
biggest discomfort I have actually is with the sort of simple cap flashing on the facades, which is much more industrial than anything else. To me. Right. Uh, uh, any other? I, 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 this is, okay. Sorry. Go. Yes. Uh, Right, and I think, you know, I, I, for me, I think, you know, it is a, it, the shape and form on this side, gen, you know, it fits in, whatever way you treat it. Uh, to me, it seems that if you actually just um, uh, take into consideration um, the comments that were made, including trying to sort of establish the corners, which relates better to the other buildings, and also break down the scale of the windows, I think I'd be able to, if, you know, if you would agree to that, I, for me, I feel that we could get to, uh, you know, to appropriate, we'd be, for me, I'd be able to sort of accept that as being appropriate. So you can come back. I, mean, I don't know what the other commissioner is saying. So in other words, we could recommend that they work with staff to do that because we know where it's going. But um, is that okay? I don't know if you want to actually go back and discuss it with your client. Um, come back. No, we, we've Does that, uh, yes, uh, Jared? I think with the new building, we're probably with this kind of modification. We should bring it, should it back. back. Okay, that's I fine. Agree okay. With the fact that we've been given a choice of remaining very contextual and reducing the openings or remaining commercial and trying to really make it an appropriate building that fits within the building. Yeah. That seems fine. Can I just yes, add? Yes, uh, Fred, yes. Um, I just said, I, of course, didn't want to design your building, <laughs> and I don't, but. <laughs> But if you keep in this same um, kit of parts, let's say, or this same direction, and we've heard several other p directions that could, could work, I'm just thinking that maybe um, it's all about the detailing then, and maybe more inventive or interesting detailing in a brick, and, and I mean, maybe the jams or steel or something. I mean, just more interesting and a more contemporary feel to the detailing might also help. Can I ask a specific question? Because one of the things, we, we did look at steel jams, and our client is supportive of having a deeper recess of mm -hmm. windows to the front wall, so that's mm -hmm. not an issue. Um, one of the things that has gone back and forth is the re-entry corner um, detail, and at one point that detail was uh, a steel element. So it was more glass house rather than Anyway, it's dangerous territory. <laughs> right. It's, right. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. Um, we can close the hearing. Okay. Now we're going back to.